Hello everyone. I hope uh, you're all staying safe. Uh, in uh, today's uh, concept uh, talk, uh, we will be looking at a brief introduction to statics. Okay, so introduction to statics. Right. Um, in this uh, introductory talk, uh, we will be looking at the uh, following items. Uh, so first of all, we will see uh, what is statics. So what is statics? And uh, why is it important? That is at, at least why are we learning this? Okay, of course, it's a requirement for your uh, a degree uh, to get a uh, course credit for ME 2010, that's a different issue. Uh, then the next thing is uh, we will be looking at uh, certain basic uh, quantities or basic uh, concepts and um, basic uh, concepts. Uh, these include the idea of uh, mass, length, time, time which is typically not something that we worry about in statics at least. And then we will be looking at uh, the idea of uh, force and moments. And then we will also look at some assumptions or idealizations uh, which allow us to uh, simplify problems. Typically, uh, you see that uh, problems that we deal with are taken directly from actual engineering applications, which means they are quite uh, complicated to begin with. And uh, so these idealizations, uh, they enable us to simplify the problem and uh, understand it at least uh, from a, a first perspective. Okay, so these are called idealizations. All right, uh, so let us uh, go to the idea of uh, what is uh, statics. Okay, so what is, is statics? Right. Statics is a branch of mechanics. So that's the first thing that I want to write down here. Okay, so statics is a branch of mechanics. Which obviously leads us to the next question, what is mechanics? Right, so what is mechanics? In mechanics, uh, we study uh, forces acting on bodies, okay? So the study of uh, forces acting on bodies. So study forces acting on bodies. Now these uh, bodies uh, could either be solid bodies or fluid bodies, right? So the bodies themselves, they could be solid or they could be fluid and uh, mechanics as applied to the study of solid mechanics uh, solid bodies is called uh, solid mechanics okay so you would uh, look at the forces acting on for example the human hand as i'm writing that would be an example of uh, a typically a solid body of course uh, there will be some uh, fine lines drawn there in terms of what is solid and what is fluid okay so that is uh, mechanics dealing with solid bodies is called solid mechanics And uh, mechanics dealing with uh, fluid bodies, uh, for example, flow in a water channel or uh, flow in a river and uh, the different forces acting on it. Um, these are examples of plasmas. Uh, these are examples of um, where you study forces acting on fluid bodies. And in that case, uh, the subject will be called as fluid mechanics. Uh, what we will constrain ourselves to is the study of uh, solid uh, mechanics. So this is typically what we will be looking at, at least in the first few courses that you will be taking uh, towards your engineering degree. And uh, in solid mechanics, statics is the study of forces acting on bodies that are in equilibrium. Okay, so that's an important word and I'm going to define that. So first of all, statics. is the study of forces 
acting on bodies that are in equilibrium. which is once again an important word here. This is a concept that I think uh, we will be looking at again and again throughout this uh, uh, semester. So what is the idea of uh, equilibrium? This is typically a question that I would ask a live class if we were to meet in person. Um, the concept of equilibrium is fairly simple. The idea is that uh, if a body is in equilibrium, then if forces act on the body, the body will undergo no translation and the body will undergo no rotation. Okay, so for a body in equilibrium, when forces act on such a body, such a body, the body undergoes no translation, it undergoes no translation, or in other words, if you look at uh, Newton's law as applied to this, and we will, we will spend a good amount of time talking about this later, uh, this essentially means that the net force on the body is zero force is a vector we are going to talk about vectors and scalar next and uh, it also implies that uh, there is no rotation possible which implies that the effect of the net forces that cause the body to rotate which is called as a moment is going to be zero as well and uh, here i have noted this as a zero uh, vector okay so this is the zero vector it is not important right now but uh, this is something that we will be looking at later all right uh, so this is the basic idea of statics is the study of forces acting on bodies that are in equilibrium now why do we need to study statics okay um the reason for studying statics is because uh, it is uh, it is a part of uh, pretty much all aspects of our life. Um, and why is that? Is because whenever there is a need to quantify forces, then we need to have knowledge of statics. So for example, you're looking at uh, people walking on a bridge or you're looking at cars traveling on a bridge. There are forces coming from the cars onto the bridge. There are forces coming from the people onto the bridge. Perhaps you're taking your dog for a walk on the bridge. There are forces coming from there. And uh, we would like to see what is the structural integrity of this, uh, of this uh, huge structure, the bridge itself. And in that situation, we need statics. And uh, in, in many, many situations, you know, the study of uh, forces acting on bodies is, is almost life-saving. Uh, in the study of human motion, in the study of uh, maybe blood flow through the heart, there are still forces acting there. It's of course fluid mechanics, but we, we still have to have an idea of how the forces are acting there. We need to quantify the forces, right? And so uh, whenever you need to quantify forces, you need statics, okay? So whenever there is a need there is a need to quantify forces we need to know statics right so with this uh, background uh, we will now look at uh, certain basic quantities okay uh, so we will go on to the next page so I'm going to look at some basic quantities These are uh, fairly simple things that you might have uh, come across in the past. And, uh, you know, this is fairly well known to us as well. Okay, so the first basic quantity is uh, mass. Mass is the quantity of matter. Okay, so mass is quantity of matter. Okay. 
right? And uh, the units for mass, um, there are uh, two types of uh, systems that we typically follow. Uh, one is the system international or the SI system. So in the SI system, the unit for mass is uh, is a kilogram or kg okay and uh, there is also the foot pound second system the fps system which is the foot pound and second system foot pound second system the first letters of each of these words make up the fps and in this uh, the units for mass is a slug it's kind of a weird unit and uh, you know for that reason probably i typically never use uh, slugs in my problems but uh, there is always a conversion from the fps to the si system and uh, in fact one of your first homework problems is to figure out what this uh, conversion factor is okay uh, so the units here are slugs right uh, then we go to length, which is important in statics. Uh, length is uh, simply the distance between two points. Distance between two points. And uh, the units for length are uh, meters in the SI system and uh, in the FPS system, it's uh, typically inches or feet, okay? Uh, so in the SI system, the units are meters, M, not to be confused with the mass M, okay? Uh, then uh, meters or sometimes, you know, you also see millimeters and so on. And then in the FPS uh, system, uh, the units will be inches or uh, um, feet right the third one uh, that is uh, probably the most important and something that we will be uh, very often seeing in statics is force right uh, force is the action of one body on another action of one body on another and uh, this can be typically due to contact. They're called contact forces. This is um, typically due to direct contact between bodies. And uh, you also have uh, what are called as uh, field forces. Uh, these are uh, due to uh, forces that arise uh, between bodies that are separated by a distance and an example of this is gravity. Okay, so gravity and I sometimes call uh, field forces as uh, spooky forces. <laughs> uh, the unit for force in the SI system is uh, Newton, uh, named in honor of Isaac Newton. So in the SI system, the unit for force is Newton capital N and then in the FPS uh, system the unit for uh, uh, force is a pound or sometimes called as a pound force and uh, LB is typically the way we uh, denote it. Um, the fourth quantity which is actually a derived quantity from the force is called as a moment okay this is also something that we will be very, very often seeing in statics. A uh, moment is the tendency of uh, a force to cause a body to rotate. Okay, this is the tendency of a force to cause a body to rotate. Uh, typically, the units for moments uh, in the SI system are Newton meters and in the FPS system, uh, the units will be pound inch or pound feet. Okay, so uh, this will be either LB feet. Typically, pound feet is uh, what uh, we will be using and converting the inches onto feet. Okay, 
So these are the basic quantities that uh, we see here. So there is moment, there is force, there is length, and then there is mass. And then lastly, uh, we will be looking at uh, the idea of uh, certain idealizations or assumptions to simplify the problems. Okay, uh, so idealizations. These are typically used to simplify uh, actual problems. Okay, so this is to simplify actual problems. And uh, there is typically only one that is of interest to us right now. And uh, this is uh, the idea of a, a rigid body. Okay, so a rigid body. A rigid body is essentially an anomaly because there is nothing that is rigid in reality. Uh, but a rigid body is something where the change in size and shape is a minuscule or very minimal when a force is applied. Okay, so here um, this is a body that does not show large change in size and shape when acted upon by forces this is an approximation uh, there is one more which i'm not going to talk about right now but it's the idea of a concentrated force And uh, we will look at this idea uh, as we uh, talk about uh, more problems where we actually start dealing with forces on actual bodies and so on. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, I'll see you in the next concept talk. Thank you.